back on Sunday beating the Jets 24 to 17 while the Cowboys look to have a formula for success in the first half before giving up the lead and losing to the Falcons and let's not forget about the Giants who on Thursday night won their first game over the Redskins. The Cowboys still are first in the East at 2 and 1 while every other team in the division is 1 and 2. Eric Allen is still here with us which we appreciate. Eric, your turn to weigh in first. Oh, I'm very eager to fallen. hear this. Who wow. is going to win? The NFC, NFC East. East. I know you're an Eagle. Yeah, listen, Eagles got a big win. That was a huge win. But there's still a tremendous amount of questions for this football team. I'm glad to see the defensive secondary, three interceptions. Walter Thurman, a couple guys come with some big plays, attacking the football, which is great. First time we've seen that kind of consistency in the backfield for a couple years now. Uh, offensively, a lot of woes. They had a 108 yards. Pass. This is the mighty Eagles. Mm -hmm. 108 yards passing. That's ridiculous. That's I genius. Mean, that Chip Kelly un genius. Unbelievable. No big plays. Where's the big plays from the Philadelphia Eagles? We used to see, you know, 20 yard average receivers, guys, you know, catching the ball across the middle. So I'm not sure what's going on with Philly, Philadelphia Eagles. My bank and my money is on a Dallas Cowboy. Thank you. Even with the injuries. You guys talking talk about it. Right? No, even with the injuries. And I, I am not a Cowboys fan, as okay. you know. With all the injuries, this team can run the football effectively. Like yep. they, they show. In the first okay, half, yeah. yeah. Atlanta's a much improved football team. Okay. They do an outstanding job. Julio Jones has like 36 receptions, the most in NFL history in the first three games of the season. Very difficult to stop him. The running game was going to have great balance, and they figured out that, you know what, Wheaton is going to be okay if there's a balanced attack. But if we make him throw, if we stop the run, load the box up, force him to throw the football, there's going to be some issues there. But I think the Cowboys, Rod Marinelli being able to scheme, will be able to overcome with some of those issues. I have the Dallas Cowboys eventually winning the NFC East. I'm talk more. I, I want to hear I'm, some I'm, more. No, I yeah, you like that? I yeah, I know you would like that. I know. And because it, when Romo gets back, and Dez, when Dez gets back, hopefully after the break for this football team, they're going to have that guy. Because right I, now the I, number I, one receiver, well, he's, he's not getting it done. I Terrence is not getting it done. I thought I told you I didn't want to hear no more from you. So, Dallas Cowboys. I tried to tell you that. Winning. I tried to tell NFC you that. Don't, don't yeah. ignore me, Eric. Yeah. Don't ignore, ignore me. Cowboy hater. In all seriousness, yeah. I've conceded a couple of weeks ago that the Dallas Cowboys are going to win the NFC East. Hey, look at that. I said to you. Yeah, that comes on I scene. saw how atrocious the Philadelphia Eagles were. And in fairness to you guys, I haven't been totally revealing. It's not just the way the Eagles look. It's the way some of those guys I still hear feel about Chip Kelly. Mm. Now, I'm not going to revisit that, but that was a very, very real problem. It continues to be a very, very real problem mm -hmm. with Chip Kelly. Chip Kelly is a guy that some would say they have won in spite of, mm. not necessarily because. Right. Now, there's but so many jobs in the NFL, and they're going to go play for him because people want to play in the NFL. But the cats ain't excited about playing for Chip Kelly. You know, the, 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 the mad genius, you know, Mr. Experiment and all of that other stuff. I mean, that, that, that star has dimmed considerably. Make no mistake about it. And I think when you combine that with the weapons that you see Dallas have, even in the, in the midst of them losing the way that they lost yesterday, the only team I see, I see capable of doing that to the Dallas Cowboys, what Atlanta did to them in the second half, is the New York Giants. Mm -hmm. Because of Odell Beckham Jr. Mm -hmm. with Randall, assuming that Victor Cruz ultimately comes back. But even then, can that defense do what, you know, the mm -hmm. Jets defense was able to do to the Eagles? I think, I think when you look at Dallas and what Atlanta was able to do to them in the second half. I don't see too many teams capable of doing that to them, especially in the NFC East. Mm -hmm. and, the Dow and with the New York Giants, I can see their defense being a bit suspect. I think they will beat the Dallas Cowboys when they face them next because I think they will split this season. Dallas Cowboys beat them open at night. I think the Giants will get them back. At, but, at, at Jerry World. At, at, at Jerry World. Which is, but, is like an away game for my Cowboys. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. so they're so bad at home. But I do believe that the NFC East is so suspect. I, I, I mean, is Kirk Cousins, I mean, please. Yeah. Please. Right. Don't yeah. get me started yeah. with him. He's allergic to bright lights, okay? They don't want any part of it. The brighter the lights. I mean, you want to have a shot at winning if you're the Washington Redskins. Stay off of national television. Ooh. Because that way, Kirk Cousins <laughs> will be, he'll be more than happy to show up.
<laughs> you put him under the bright lights, he will shrink like the wicked witch having water poured on him. Wow. That's mm -hmm. Kirk Cousins. I'm wow. just dumb. Maybe he's just trying to do I'm too much. Thank you for that, that visual. That's what I, this yeah. is just the truth. It's just the truth, okay? Well, we don't want to see okay. you just like go away. Yeah. You know, like well, that. I'm but just she, saying. She, she was done. He's you know, a, she yeah. was well, like, I didn't mean it that yeah. way. I didn't mean it that way. What I mean is that he's done. Okay, that's all I meant by that, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I haven't watched the show in a while, okay? All right, but I just, I was just trying to say she's shrunk. I was just trying to say she's shrunk. My favorite. That's all I said. My favorite. My favorite. I'm so touched. I'm so touched. I'm so touched by y'all. All right, I'm so touched. It's so touching, okay? I don't remember all the details about the wicked witch tricking, all right? But I just, I just know it has has happened. All I'm trying to say is you look at that and then you look at, you know, the Eagles. I'm just, I'm so disappointed I, in what I have seen. Not seen it. I'm so disappointed. How are you scoreless in seven of 12 quarters this season? <laughs> How are you scoreless? I don't see it. So to me, Sanchez it's really, on all, the way. all I have to hold Maybe. on to is that the Dallas Cowboys will find a way to sink come postseason time. Mm. That's all I have to hold on to. Mm. I really do. So to sum this all up, we should remind people to just, I'm going to paraphrase you, just stay on the weed then, right? Stay on, stay the, on weed the weed then. then. Because okay. he was pretty great in the first half yesterday. 13 out of 14, yeah. he made one bad decision and one bad throw, tried to play hero, rolling the wrong way right, to his left, right. get the ball back to Witten. Doesn't have to do that. Filling himself a little bit. for the game, again, seriously, when, when I look at, at completing 22 of 26 for 232 for Brandon Whedon. I told you, if I told you that on Friday, you would have said, oh, they win that game. They rushed for 127 yards. Now, most of those came in the first half because yeah. they went backwards for four yards in the second half. Okay? So, look, I'm, I'm going to sum up what happened to these Eagles at the Jets. I, I firmly believe this. It was the classic case of the whole world said, the Jets are going to walk away with this game, and Sam Bradford might not survive it. He might not literally, football-wise, yeah. live to tell about this experience at Jets. And the Jets just didn't show up. No. They didn't show no. up emotionally. And you can't do it against a still decent and, and somewhat talented NFL team. I don't care who it is. It's called Even Sproles. one coached by Chip Kelly. Yeah. What's it's that? called Sproles. That's yeah. what it's called. And Sproles. Yeah. Okay? You can't let him loose on a part return, or you're going to lose. You, your quarterback... Who's, who's just okay. He's just You're just trying to get through the night with Ryan Fitzpatrick. If he's going to have to throw it, I don't have it in front of what was it we talked about earlier, yes. 58 times? Yes, 58 times. And if he's going to throw three to the other team, and then Brandon Marshall's going to try to make the ultimate hero play and lateral it as he goes down to nobody except the wrong team, yep. that's four turnovers and a four part return, turn. you're, you're going to lose. Gonna, you're going to lose. You're going to lose. I'm sorry, but it doesn't mean, it, it doesn't mean the Jets are terrible and the Eagles are going to win the NFC East. It just was one of those any given given Sunday kind of NFL games. So we're back to my Dallas Cowboys. And pretty soon, remember, Jeremy Mincy, maybe you don't know him, but, but he was their mm -hmm. sack leader last year. He got a concussion in Philly in the warm-ups right. and played and practiced all week, and then he couldn't go yesterday. Yeah. Well, so that's a big loss. Mm, it's a big loss. They, they, it is, it the is a Cowboys big loss. need to find yeah. a way to get the number one receiver. They, Terrence needs to play right. better. He needs to they score. They can't get down by he a lot need, and have yeah, to throw. Right. He needs to Excuse be the number one me. guy. They were up 21-7. 28 to 14 and got shut out in the second half. I don't want to hear something about they need to be up. They lost because they got ramrodded because their defense was suspect when it counted. Now Ooh. you they should jump down, on that because of the Giants. Nice to throw, Stephen A. Ooh, That's yo. when they're in trouble. Oh, they so were now, running the oh, so, so, The so, Giants so. should be 3-0. and oh. Trust me, I believe that. But right. I, I get that they're suspect in certain areas That's and I right. can't trust them either. But they they could be 3-0. Oh. I'm yeah, not yeah, writing they, them they off. They could, but they're not. And at the end of the day, Skip, Here's the bottom line, okay? All of these things that you point out just plays right into my hands. You see, the Dallas Cowboys are elevating and elevating in levels of significance because once he's upset this morning, why? But just give it because they lost. Because you know he's always heartbroken. I mean, listen, this game. is a guy. This is a guy that quit on the Spurs and was getting ready to just eradicate his column because the Spurs lost a regular season night and messed up his column. One day. Day. This, this is ridiculous. Is That's, how That's how emotional he gets. That's how emotional he gets. It's just it. one on night. It's just one night. Well, but, tr lost. but trust you me on this. Right. Trust you me. By tomorrow.
The smile is going to be back on his face. He's going to be all right. He ain't going to be melancholy. He's going to recapture the momentum, talking about what they're going to do. And trust you me, all of these foolish, ridiculous cowboy fans, a cowboy nation, the worst gonna the fans East, right? in America, by the way, they're going to jump right on a <laughs> bandwagon. A they're going to jump break. right on a bandwagon, and they're going to sit up there and go like this. Go. We are going to be all right. <laughs> we are going to be all right. Oh, please. Well, Greg please. Hardy, Rolando McClain, oh, Randy Gregory, Jeremy Mincy. Let me have them all back and let's see that smile wiped right. off your face. Yeah. Last comment, I okay. swear to last. Last comment, I swear. Those very people that you're relying upon, mm -hmm. are you sure they're going to last the season? <laughs> I mean, wow. it could be anything. It Eric, could be anything. Thank you so much for being Thanks here. Oh, you know what? I, I love, love you, here. and I wish you would stay. <laughs> we got to go to break. Skip resilient, yeah. just like those Cowboys. Peyton Manning and the Broncos get a decisive win over the Lions in Detroit and are now 3-0. and Can the Manning questions now be put to rest? We'll answer that after the break. Not yeah. laughing about Greg Hardy. I know. Know that. No.